Hello everybody, I'm Hendrik Schultz, I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Medical Associates and I'm also trained in infectious diseases and today I would like to talk about the vaccines and concerns that you might have about the vaccines. Um, I think when a new vaccine comes out, particularly like the COVID vaccines that are coming up now, um, it is very understandable and very normal that you have questions and concerns and there are some uncertainties as well. And uh, we can talk a bit more about that. I think uh, what I would like you to understand in the first setting is that the vaccines that we have available for COVID-19 now are very efficient vaccines. And the, there are a variety of vaccines with different mechanisms available. Um, most of these vaccines are doing much better. Actually, all of these vaccines are doing much better than the normal flu shot you get every year do in terms of effectiveness. A normal flu shot usually is effective in 40 to 60 percent, and that's already a good year. Um, I think the lowest I saw on the COVID vaccines was in the mid 60s, low 70s. Um, but most of them are way above that. Some of them are close to 95%. So we are dealing with vaccines that are highly effective. Um, why, would we want, why would we want vaccines? Why would we want to go with that? We talked about some of it earlier when we explained what vaccines can do. But I think in this pandemic, the reason why the vaccines are ro rolled out as mass vaccinations right now for the population in different tiers is that eventually we all want to return to a normal life and we also want to make sure that the people we care about, our families, our friends, our loved ones are safe and are not put in harm's way. And what I would like you to understand is what the vaccine does, what we know, it actually prevents a vaccinated per person from getting the actual disease. So when let's say your parents or grandparents who are over 65 are vaccinated and somebody brings COVID to their house or they pick it up somewhere when they run their errands, the likelihood that they get sick and that they actually get harmed by COVID is extremely low after they have been vaccinated. And that is what we all want to get back to. We want to get back to being able to living a normal life, a social life with interactions, doing things with our families. And I think the vaccines clearly can help us in accomplishing this goal. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, who were the people that were looked at when the vaccines were developed. Um, the groups that were tested in the United States and also internationally were very heterogeneous groups of people that reflect very well the composition of the society here in the United States. Um, in the trials were included uh, people uh, with an African-American background, with a Hispanic background, and let's say for the debut community, community also with a Pacific Islander background. So we know how um, different ethnic backgrounds uh, react on the vaccine as well. This has been studied, this has been looked into. And um, what I want to talk about are also the side effects. And maybe we should, we should approach the side effects that you might have heard about in a different way. And the difference between, I say, the things you do in real life and what you do in medicine is that in real life, nobody tells you explicitly what the risks are. In medicine, we have to do that. So if you ever read, uh, uh, package information on mere aspirin, a baby aspirin, you might get gray hair about it with all the side effects it can cause, but in the end it's an over-the-counter drug that you can use. So nobody explicitly tells you that in broad detail. The same is true when you enter a bus. Nobody will tell you what can go wrong. In medicine, we have to tell you what we know to the best of our knowledge in the studies what are side effects and adverse reactions. So you will hear a lot more than what actually happens in the majority of people. And that is sometimes a very scary situation. You have heard probably about the anaphylactic reactions that some people on the vaccines got. This is a rare exception. And to my knowledge, all of these patients 
already had reactions like this to other things before, so it does not come as a surprise and something unforeseen. Um, common effects, common things are the same you might experience from prior shots, like the flu shot. Anything that has been listed out for the COVID-19 vaccine is practically what you can observe with flu shots in any year you get, you get flu shots rolled out for a population. Let me share my personal experience with you. Um, I already got my two shots of the Moderna vaccine and the first round was practically like my normal annual flu shot. The injection site hurts a little bit and since I'm not a big fan of needles anyway, I had a little flinch, but that is okay, I understand this. The second time I had a little bit more of achiness on the injection site and also a little bit more tiredness and did not feel entirely up to par for a couple of hours the next day, but within hours all that disappeared. Now having said that, I've also seen in the hospital when I was working there what COVID-19 can do to an unvaccinated patient in my age and I do not want this for anybody or for me to happen if we can avoid it. Because again, once you get the disease and it runs its full course, there's very little at this point of time we can do about it. And what we want to prevent with the vaccine is really everybody, uh, anybody from getting the disease and particularly the severe and critical ill disease that is associated with COVID. So I hope this little overview helps to um, ease some concerns and helps to give you some answers to the questions you naturally have when a vaccine is rolled out that has not been there before. Um, I would still encourage you based on the data that I know and based on the experiences we have with the vaccine now practically uh, to consider getting vaccinated. Um, you will protect yourself and you will protect your loved ones when you are vaccinated against COVID and you can return eventually to a, a normal life again in not too long. That's what I'm hoping for and stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands as long as we need to. Um, thank you.